Hello and welcome to E5 Hi. Mini Super Chat Catch Up episode. That's right. React uh, stuff. It's the next episode. Wow, oh. we made it a whole. We made it a whole another episode. Wow. Here we are. Pretty World incredible. Of checking out what people said and saying hello and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. May as well get started. So, first message is thoughts on Superman seventy eight and Donna Superman two. I like. Uh, just a second. Superman 1978. Um, I like it. I like it. We rewatched it like a Earth... year ago or something, right? Yeah, minus the Earth spinny thing. I, I really kind of like it. It's a charming movie. Yeah, that uh, came I, up I in really the other really uh, catch up. Uh, it's a silly part, but there's plenty to love about that movie in lots of ways. I need to rewatch the uh, Donna Cut Superman 2 um, to get a refresh on it. Yeah, because I don't think I've I don't think I've seen it. So <clears throat> I don't think I've seen it either. Well then, that'd be something for us to check out. Uh, exactly one hundred caps after Hassan. Not a coincidence. Oh, they mean like it's a hundred episodes ago that the Hassan episode happened. <laughs> Feels like, like poetry. Yeah, it's like the planet has some fun things planned sometimes. At this point, 100% think YouTubers should try copyright striking against these people who clearly don't care. I know. I just, uh, I don't know. It's just depressing. Something will happen at some point. A dam will break. That sort of thing. An inevitable sort of thing. It's just, um, easy to get away with. Most of them admit that that's what it comes down to. It's like, what are you going to do? Mm. Like, hmm. XQC needs to be fired out of a cannon into the sun. I know that reference. Oh my goodness. Good old Futurama. Everyone should watch it. It's huh. pretty fun. Love your content. Also watch Patton. Mola, get out of the way for Rag Senpai. <gasps> okay. Jeez, I didn't realize it was in the way. Yeah. Oh, see. DC needs to back to movies like Mask of Phantasm, uh, GL First Flight, Under the Red Hood, Dark Knight Returns, Superman vs. The Elite, JL Doom, All-Star Superman. I mean, yeah, you're not getting the, the best of the best right now in terms of DC movies. But hey, you know, hold out hope. Wow, a React Fap. Hi, Rags and everyone else. More, I've been watching Buffy on your recommendation. Good rat. I listened to the XQC convo and died. Yeah, it was a tough yeah, one. Yeah, that was rough. That was a bizarre conversation. Not something you expect to happen in your life, you know. Gotta say, if Movie Bob talks in run on sentences, then XQC talks in mile a minute. Sweet, crispy critters. It's hard to listen to him talk and understand uh -huh. him. Yes, I guess it it's is. an interesting comparison. Mm -hmm. I think the big difference, obviously, is that uh, Movie Bob's trying to sound real smart. Yeah. <laughs> XQC, on the other hand, he's just, <laughs> he's got thoughts and they're That's spilling out. They just, uh, he can't contain it. It's like a dam bursting, but perpetually, the water just never ends. It's almost like, um, uh, it's like when a character looks into the core of the TARDIS. It's like an, a purity. There, there's no filtering of the thoughts and feelings and words and all this stuff that happens in the brain. It just comes right out. And that's I what have it to imagine like. it's probably, I imagine that's a selling point. It, it has to be, right? That, the selling point has so. to be. The, the rapids, because otherwise I don't get it. <laughs> it's barely comprehensible. Uh, so what if I record their chat and post it on my video? Is it bad? Dude, in that chat with them, it got to the point where they were saying, like, yeah, a chat transforms the it all. The chat itself is transformative. The, the mere existence of chat, which you just run it straight through to, okay, the Dark Knight, but there's chat on the screen. Oh my <laughs> god. Right? That's transformative, yeah. The dumbest it's Transformative, shit. yeah. That's absurd. The Dark Knight, but Subway <laughs> Surface is on screen. Well, I feel like it, uh, it's true that chat being on screen is an additional Different. element that isn't there before, sure, but whether or not it's transformative or sufficiently transformative, I mean... What's well, some people trying to highlight? Because... Abba at the time was like, yeah, that is a different experience, isn't it? That's a very I mean, different experience. It's like, fucking having someone with a gun to your head while watching a movie is a very different experience. Well, exactly. It's going to the theater, watching a film on IMAX versus watching it, like, on a 20-inch CRT TV. It's a different experience, sure. 
Uh, but but then you know it's like would that would it be that if you're in an audience at the theater that that is transformative in and of itself and and therefore what the theater should get a hundred percent of the money instead of a uh, instead of a, a split. Yeah, it's bizarre, crazy nonsense. It's it's just you don't want to go down that road <laughs> in terms of making arguments for uh, React content when the easy solution is transform it. Oh just my make god, it yes. Different. Everybody wins when you transform it. <laughs> yeah, it's new content. You made something like, worthwhile that belongs to you now. Your audience yeah, exactly. like you more for having made a thing that they like that you're a part of. You got a clear fucking ethical conscience. You don't have to shamefully try and get off YouTube with this VOD you've created because you know you've just stolen a thing. You'll never have mm. that to worry about. That's it's right. Like, yeah, well, I have to stream ten hours a day. It's like I'm so sorry. Okay, you have to. Okay. So sorry you had to deal with that. <laughs> I hope you're all right. Lord Longbong of Mublington Abbey. Is there any good chance of a Kong Fab? With Peter Jackson's Ooh. Long Kong. When this last going on? It'll be a movie Fab for the ages. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, Wagsy, screeches for the good boy. Oh, uh, hello. Thank you. Uh, that sounds like a really neat idea. When there's less going on. Sounds like a movie oh, Fab for the ages. When there's less going I on, know. it does. Unfortunately, it is now. Um, we are in the now, busiest now time of the we're year. In the busy, uh, we're in the well, busiest time. Of the year. Yeah. Uh, I tried to listen to the XQC debate. I really did, but I couldn't get more than five minutes in without having an aneurysm from the way he talks. I do not blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah. These Twitch streamers should react to movies on stream. That should end well. They tried. He did. He did I the tried. Dark Knight. That's right. <laughs> That's how brazen he is with this. He's like, it doesn't matter. I'm creating something new. This is transformative like, via, you know, the audience. Uh, however, if the law come for me, I I'll just hide under a rock. I'm like, <laughs> leave me alone. Uh, hey, Transkill, thinking about a concealed carry here. Any recommendations on a good starter caliber? Um. Three. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, the three caliber. It's very interesting. Um, I carry a nine millimeter pistol. Um, I think that 380 can work fine. Um, but I, I wouldn't really go anything more hefty than that if it's just for self defense. Um, personally, I, I carry a Glock 26 and I like it quite a bit, but it will be up to, you know, how big your hand is, how you like the feel of it. Uh, how much it weighs to you, but I would say that, you know, 380 or 9mm are fine choices. There we are. Thank you kindly for that nuclear EFAP mini. Yeah. It was something. <laughs> uh. Uh, what was worse, the debate or compiling clips for the first arc on the React content? Thanks for the many years of great entertainment. Oh... It's like, it's, the debate, uh, you know, it's just time went on, it was just like a, uh, this isn't gonna help anything I mean, it eventually anyway. started to just deteriorate. <laughs> and, um, when you, when you're talking to someone who's going a mile a minute, like, um, <laughs> trying to find some foundations here, like, it's almost mm. impossible. But compiling the clips, that was, that was a, a hell of its own. I had to watch, like, a 10-hour Hassan stream back in the day, that was, that was really painful. <laughs> went through the whole thing. And of course, you know, it sounds like a meme, right? But it's just like, I don't understand how tens of thousands I don't of people get are doing it. that. I don't get it. Every day, I voluntarily. I yeah, don't get it. I, my brain just doesn't understand. I don't get it. Uh, long time listener to pause constantly. Hi, Rags. Hello. Did you know that humans share more than half our genetic material with bananas? Oh, wow, I did not know that. That explains why humans taste so much like bananas. Mm-hmm. And Rags, what is your fact book called? Also, hi, Rags. My fact book is called Who Knew by um, David Hoffman. It's an old one. My uh, uh, grandfather gave it to me. This one is from... Let me see. And is this Hoffman of Saw fame, or is this a different Hoffman? Um, I think this is a different Hoffman. Okay. I think this this is one two thousand. So yeah. In fact, since you brought it up, and because I've been neglecting it, I'll read a f a fact for you. Mm -hmm. Um. Please do. Let's see. Let me open it up here. Pick a page. Stewardesses. Stewardesses. Is the longest word 
that can uh, that is typed using only the left hand. Stewardesses. So if you're listening to this right now, do do that immediately. Yeah, that's true. Type type stewardesses with your left hand. Isn't that's fun? I didn't know that. That's a big word for one hand. I I I mean it, it pans out now that you've it's been pointed out. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. You know what? I ain't I ain't gonna argue against it. I think that's pretty strong. A good fact. I like it. I like it. You know, actually, I I had to reach over here to to grab the Who New book. There is a my my mom got me this. It's a uh, she's religious, though I'm uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't know if she knows that or not. But she gave me a book called The Wisdom of the Saints: 365 Days of Inspiration. So since it's right here, it's right next to the fact book. Let me read it for today. The current day that we're recording this on is uh, September the twenty third. So let me go to September. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a long one. Uh, okay. Don't wince under the hammer that, hammer that strikes you. Have an eye to the chisel that cuts you and to the hand that shapes you. The skillful and loving architect may wish to make of you the chief stones of his eternal edifice and the fairest statues in his kingdom. Then let him do it. He loves you. He knows what he's doing. He has had experience. All his blows are skillful and straight and loving. He never misses unless you cause him uh, to by your impatience. So a lot of the... That's kind of my issue with this when I started going through this, is that a lot of these are just like God. And I'm like, oh, this isn't <laughs> like wisdom. This is the wisdom of the saints. That's what it says. But mostly it's just like, yeah, God's great. I'm like, man, uh, that's, that's not that helpful, really. A lot of this just isn't helpful. Oh, here's one. Yeah, I just opened it up. You'll, this is a good one. I like this. This is a uh, St. Patrick on February 15th. Luck is when an opportunity comes along and you've prepared for it. Which I, I like oh. that one. Yeah, that's neat. I like yeah. that one more. Yeah, that's, that's a good. See, I can <laughs> apply that to my life. Well, it just makes you think, doesn't it? It's not, you know, it's it's kind of, it's partially a frame of mind. It's partially a matter of, it emphasizes that, you know, you, that you have some agency in a, uh, in, you know, whether or not you're lucky, which I yep. prefer. I it's mean, neat. it's like that, the whole opportunity thing is like, you got to be able to take advantage of opportunities or, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta do your thing, you know, you gotta, you gotta do stuff. You can't just leave it all up to the universe and be like, well, I hope things work out. It's like, no, you gotta do some stuff. Yeah. Fuck you, universe. Yeah. Fuck you. A friend sent me you talking to XQC. My condolences. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. That was a rough boy. Future legal fees, every frame a plaintiff. Hey. Ooh, hey. <laughs> that works. Not bad. Hi, Adam from Adam Friended. He's trying to start his oh. own high rags meme there, but that's okay. Everyone should try. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> They're not going to be as high a quality a meme, but you know, it's, it's okay. Iterative memes. That's, uh, that's how it goes. Thought the video was on two times speed. Turned out it was just XQC talking at two times speed. Mola, that video gave me cancer. Such bad takes overall. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. After this, if you can come to some baseline ideas, you should publish a code of conduct. Ask permission, tips if it's available, etc. They don't give a shit. All the people who break the code of conduct would never read it. They would never care. It's funny, the most people who would give a shit about it are all people who wouldn't do it anyway. It's yeah, it's kind of the <laughs> that's kind of sad to think about, isn't it? Um. Oh, we got we got a request for Rags to read this out. All right, sure. What do we got? Doop up doo da. Oh, and there's a second half as well. Good old reference. The uh, the old smiling friends. <laughs> Let's see. They just want me to read this out? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm Mr. Rags. This is my show. I eat the cream. That's all right. All right. <laughs> I ate the cream. This is the end. I hate you. I'm guessing that the meme is going to be you as Mr. Frog scraping hot cream off of uh, something Presumably. and then eating it. Yeah. Yeah. That's Lathering probably true. Into his mouth on his tongue sort of thing. Yeah, uh, like the... yeah. Ugh. Hi, Kitty yeah. and Allie. Hello. Kitty and Allie. I don't know Maybe who that is. Um, but... Adam and Sitch. I don't know. 
Kitty and Alley. It could be could be Maybe. pet names from uh, from their own fan base. I I I never know. I, I have lots of deciphering to do. What are, no wait, message. what are what are your Ooh. pet names for us? Um, Rackleton and Fringo. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I like yeah, that's that's pretty good. They all they all change it up though as time goes on. Like Ragu, oh. Frongo, Ragu, Fringleton, yeah. yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I have no message. That coked up screeching hamster was hard to listen to. Hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. Okay. The Maybe. hamsters. The hamsters make noises. Probably, uh, quiet, maybe a little but bit, but if they make noise, something's well, probably wrong. You know? thing is because you know, like rabbits don't make noises. Rabbits are quiet until they die. I think, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, even then, I don't know. Uh, yep. Man, I feel like hear... rat, rats are pretty yeah. quiet as well. Rats are very quiet. But people I heard the rats screaming in Temple, not Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, when they were set on fire. So, uh, yeah, rough, that probably uh, set them off. Yeah, the rough, rough world to be a rat in the sewer. Mm -hmm. uh, I will never click on a Vorsch or Hassan video, so I'm glad the only exposure I get to them is about Agua or his mommy cooking nuggies. That is transformative. The, the Aqua. Agua. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, you know, some water is. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? And you know, the best part is he Googled it before he said it. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, yeah, this will show him the fucking slam dunk of an argument here. Did you know that water is sometimes called aqua? Ugh. In Mexico, down south of the border, yeah. It's... <laughs> Hi, Andrew, Galante, Gray, and Dorcas, and Adam and Wormy. See, I know Adam is Adam, and Wormy is his cat, So, but I don't know the other four. Is that the name of his cat? Mm-hmm. That's a is, fun is name for a cat. Wormy? Yeah. Yeah. It's hmm. a little bit unconventional. I feel like that's... When I hear that, I'm like, oh, that's not, like, a boring name that people typically give their animals. Like Charlton? That'd be that'd be an interesting one. I've, I don't know that. I've, I don't know. I feel like uh, like a dog called Spot. It's like that's a hyper generic name. Or Baxter. Yeah, it's like the John uh, of people here. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. Spot is the John of dogs. Um, if you name your kid John, <laughs> fuck you. Well, Aww. look, I'm not. I wouldn't say that. It's just that it's a very common name. I don't. It's it's. You, can it, you call know your what I mean? Kid John for really good reasons. Yeah, exactly. There are no good reasons. They've it's all been used. You, do you feel the same way about like David or Mark? Or uh, Luke? Almost, almost. All of the Gospels? We're getting you know? quite sure. Quite well, they're, they're, they're pretty common names, all yeah. four of them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to change. There's gonna be a few things changing around here. What do you what do you reckon is like the most uh, I don't know if I want to just say generic. What do you think is the most common name for a woman? Like in a Western country? They're uh yeah, Mary. I that. Uh, I yeah, that's another one. But I feel like Sarah is like number one. Sarah probably. Um, it, it's it, it's the John of women, you know. Like, John of women. I thought that was yeah, Jane. <laughs> Jane. Well, yeah, but Jane isn't as common. Uh, you know, that's a common name, but you know, not as common. Um, this one just says EFAP is fun. I agree. Uh, yeah. In a perfect world, I'd wish for no more copyright protection. The outage over immoral infringement like these cases are based in fairness anyway, not law. The benefits to fair use would outweigh the cons. Are you saying that um, if uh, everybody did it fairly, you wouldn't care about copyright? Because at that point, the whole reason we care about copyright protection is because it forces yeah, people to be fair. Exactly. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. Like, it's real simple. Copyright essentially gives you property rights of a, like art. <laughs> that's yeah, because if you're essentially... saying like I should be allowed to make my own Star Wars movie that's completely original, but you know it takes place in the world or whatever, and can be considered canon by people if they want to, uh, I could put loads of work and actors and money into it and stuff. Like that's a whole other conversation compared to strictly just stealing someone's thing and reselling it. Like these are not to say that uh, one is easy and one is not in terms of figuring it out. There's loads of gray areas for everything and. Uh, you know, yeah, of course. That's why. That's why people go to court, right? That's why people debate about it. Um, but I mean, yeah. the, I I don't know. I uh, I fundamentally think that it is fine <laughs> that people get to own the things that they make. 
Uh, I think it's. I think that's fine. <laughs> like I, I don't have a problem with it. And fair use exists, right? For the uh, to to give uh, an avenue for things like criticism and parody. I feel like what we've got yeah. is fine. Uh, in terms of like adjusting for the internet, sure, there's something to be said there. Like how exactly do memes, you know, fit in the mix and everything? But I mean, the the stuff that was going on with the React stuff, it, it, that's brazen, you know. Like that's yeah, you're just taking shit. You're just stealing shit. You know, you're and you're shit. taking the piss. You were taking the piss if you're gonna be like, well, you know, like. Let's have a conversation about, you know, how, like, the Twitch meta or whatever. It's like, come on. Come on. I think we all kind of get it. You know, like, w at least intuitively, we all understand what's actually going on. You know uh, they get it, because XQC, Destiny, and others have admitted, like, yeah, there are some I just wouldn't upload to YouTube. And it's like, hmm. Yeah, exactly. What does that mean that you recognize? What is that in your conscience there <laughs> that, would, that would make you say that? Gentlemen, I have to say, I re uh, don't really have a take on this subject, and I don't know much about XQC, but the way he interacts with people makes it easy to write him off as a douchebag. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a fair take. That's, mm -hmm. I like they're just like, I have nothing to say, but he seems like a douche. He seems like a douche. Hi, Mulder. What do you think about the Folding Ideas video on the Thermian argument? Personally, I think that it's very Puritan in how it seems to dictate how an author should write their stories. Hi, Rags. What is... Hello, here we go. Yeah, I've what, heard this what, before, what though. What's, Let's what's go Google, because I've heard All that right. before as well. So, um, <clears throat> a Thermian argument is one that replies to criticism of a text with an in-universe justification for why the thing happens in the text, ignoring the actual argument in order to defend the text. But that is a, that's the tweet. It, this only pops up from... Dan Olson. So this is quiet Twitter. in MGS5 then, right? When people say, oh, why the fuck it's that, that way? And you go, uh, actually, it's because of these reasons in universe. And then you're like, you're not, you're not really thinking about what I'm talking about. Oh, um, okay. Is I, that what I that see. is? Because obviously the, the Probably, miscommunication there is good. easy to solve. You just go, no, I mean, why did the writer choose to do this? And then you, you can that talk way, about, yeah. yeah. It's a very short uh, distance that can needs to be kicked down the road until you just are right back on the argument again, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah. hey, um, I'll see if I can check out his video on that. See if he says something that I don't agree with, because I think he makes good stuff most of the time. Mm. I never um... seen him, so I have no idea. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. I found appreciation for the hard work everyone on the stream puts into their videos and streams. Good. Oh well. Oh. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> And hi to Kitty, our favorite furry lover. That's how you do a Super Chat shout-out. Also, have you all seen the movie 8 Mile? Yes. Yeah, not uh, for a long time. Uh, not since it came out, so <laughs> it's been a while. Well, yeah, it's been a while for me, so I remember enjoying it, but I don't remember much about it. Mm-hmm. Um, hi, Mola. I was the first one to Super Chat you on your only upstream about conforming... Confronting, I assume they mean destiny. On this, I'm glad it paid off on ironically great content. Hi everyone, also hi Ragus. Hello. Yeah, I mean the conversation was had more than once. The way XQC talks sounds like his tongue and teeth are in a constant battle to the death. That's a way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> tongue and teeth are in a constant battle. That is a good way to describe it. That's a good way of describing it. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Like, you know how your mouth is just like not working as a team? That's kind of what's <laughs> happening here. Hey guys, come on. Uh, you have the patience of a saint, long man, to deal with the word vomiter, the drooling incompetent, and the sophist so well. I'm not sure which of which are which, necessarily. Uh, the trio's so smart they managed to reverse engineer copyright law and claim it as something new. Cheers. There was a lot that was being said without thinking about it, I think. Uh, strange. Um, how much of an appeal to these big streamers getting around ads and premium? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. How much of the appeal of these big streamers getting around ads and premium? Do you mean that everything you see through these streamers doesn't have ads and premium because they have, like, YouTube Red or Twitch Prime? So, like, watching their stream means that you don't have to have ads for anything or something? Hmm. You know, the curator argument has come up a couple of times, both in a non-ethical and ethical way, in terms of what does that add to it, but also why people... I find, um... 
interested this in sort it. of evolving landscape with curate is so interesting because it seems like that is a real selling point for people of i can show up at this stream and whatever it is that the streamer decides we're going to watch is going to be relevant and interesting because all the other people who watch it are going to be seeing it and finding it relevant and interesting like that that them curating and being part of a large community means you get to be part of a discussion and that's worth a lot so much so that some people in the chat don't even seem to mind what the dynamic is. I just find it kind of interesting. Hi, Rex. Hello. Hi. Hello there. Still halfway through the debate, the Battle of the Long and the Spurg is truly something to behold. Also, I'm very happy you and Abba met. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He says uh, some insane things in that conversation, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. That's a, a rare L for ABBA, I feel. Normally your... he's pretty chill. Cool. Your contributions to this discussion have been extremely valuable. Thanks for bringing some sanity in a way they can't just call bad faith and dodge. Great work, mate. Talk to Viper, mayhaps? Uh, <laughs> maybe someday Ooh. in the future. Who knows? Maybe someday. Uh, next time, get Rags to be there for these calls with these lazy streamers, because someone needs to be ultra-harsh and aggressive. They're so bad faith. Um, I'm sure... I would have pushed more, but yeah. I think Mahler did a good job. Mahler, so. brought a, Mahler brought a kind of calm, reasonable energy to this, the, the pack of, you know, tards that were in there, <laughs> and I think it came, he came out looking very reasonable and approachable and, like, normal. Um, XQC came out like a fucking psychotic spurg. Who was it was only weird the parts when he was just gunning real hard out of nowhere. That was just strange. When he got, he like, kept... aggressive very quickly and reading in so much uh, ill intent. That was weird. Yeah, he kept trying to, like, take me to the end of my argument, and I was like, I haven't gotten there, and that's not where I'm going. Calm down. <laughs> <Just> like, answer <laughs> yeah. the questions. I'm trying to figure shit out. Uh, farewell and adieu to you fair Flemish massives. Farewell and adieu to you massive of fleam. I am game actor. Game actor? Gay actor Michael Douglas. And I would like an EFAP on Jaws. Perhaps hmm. someday. That would, yeah, that might not be a bad one. My girlfriend loves horror films, but I can't stand the poor writing. Can you all recommend some good horror films? Ooh, yeah, oh The Descent is really good. Saw one, saw two, no. saw three. No, no, I'm sorry, I thought you said horrible. Saw <laughs> six. Um, saw six had a, it had something in there. I um, think Saw six is uh, no, I'd, I'd recommend Saw six. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't like throwing it in alongside the descent and the thing. No, no, no. It's not on the. No, no, no. It's, it ain't there. Oh, but yeah, the descent, the thing. Uh, invasion of the body snatchers. Alien. Underwater. Aliens. Alien. Yeah. Uh... What else? What else would I throw in there? Um, um, I mean, it's probably worthwhile to watch The Exorcist if you haven't seen it before. That's one of those yeah, sort I of think so. movies. Yeah. yeah, I think it so. It follows might scare the bejeebas out of the both of you. Ooh, yeah. I would recommend It Follows, yeah. Well, uh, I haven't that seen was it, pretty good. So... I enjoyed watching that. That was pretty fun. There you go. That's Let me selection. see. Yeah. And in the it, video it, game it, realm, you got a lot of options for good horror. this year, yeah. Play that Dead Space remake, damn it. Dead Space, yep. It's pretty spooky. Uh, I hope for his movie, Kirby doesn't talk for you. Uh, oh, well, except for the sounds, right? Like, hi! Like, that kind of thing. I'd be chill with <laughs> yeah, that. Like that. that yeah, um, yeah. And then, of course, King DDD just go like, rah, 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 like, making those sounds. I, I just would be really, really keen on seeing a film that had minimal dialogue. Um, especially I think in a post Mario when, movie world I just don't foresee that happening. No, I think Mario teaches the lesson of yeah, you can have celebrity voice actors and it will be fine. And it's like I guess it will be okay, but like let's let's I'm okay with some more outside of the box uh thinking in terms of you know a, a, an animated film uh that doesn't have celebrity voice actors and instead has yeah. very like limited dialogue. Like when that when Yoshi shows up in the next movie, I certainly hope he's not talking. Um, I just want him to be saying Yoshi. <laughs> That's all I want. Mm -hmm. But I'm uh, I'm not so sure about that. Hey Fringled, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, and have you ever had a big spider fall on you from the ceiling? Uh no, that's not happened. Fortunately, um, I don't I don't know that I've ever been like. I think there was one. 
Hmm. I think there might have been one time that there was like a spider underneath my desk that kind of uh shocked me where I wasn't ready for that. But uh, I've never had a spider drop on me. No. Uh, unfortunately, I've never really had any like encounters with um any of the the crazy spiders. I've, like it's it's typically huntsmen's, which uh, they kind of look scary, but they're harmless. Um, and then daddy long legs, which are also like harmless, and and they're not very scary at all. Yeah. So we, uh, uh, we no. got them all over the place here. So yeah, that then yeah, they're they're like fairly chill. Like I yeah, said, huntsmen. It's uh, I mean, you see redbacks every now and then, uh, but not often. Uh, hot take. The part in Solo where Lando tells Han he hates him and Han replies, yeah, I know, was okay-ish. I didn't really have an answer, but now I'm thinking, yeah, I think I'm gay. That was me, gay actor Michael Douglas from my movie, John Dick. Interesting. Okay. That sounds like an interesting, uh, I haven't seen production. Solo in a long time. I don't even remember. No, I mean, I've, I've only seen it when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fringle, you should do a Kirby playthrough with one of the fellas. Uh, oh, I want to like the co-op games. Um, I mean, I really liked Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I'm not sure how much I would, uh... It seems to me like the other Kirby games are a bit more, uh... Conventional and relatively easy platformers, like 2D platformers. So I'm not... I don't know if I'm as interested in playing those games. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know. I mean, maybe maybe the thing would be, uh... <laughs> I, I, I think uh, the new Super Mario Brothers game has online co-op. We could... We could do that. Maybe. Uh, this is already an EFAP for the ages. Cheers. Wow, Ooh. good stuff. Cheers if the you. mere experience of watching something with a streamer is transformative, then why don't XQC, Hassan, and all other content leeches ever stream Star Wars movies or episodes of Game of Thrones? Right. <laughs> They've uh, tried. Yeah, exactly. If they could. I mean, that was the thing, right? People just watching full seasons of anime. On uh, yeah. on Switch, and yeah. Of course, the classic is uh, Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, yeah, Kitchen Nightmares, Hell's Kitchen, just watching them. But uh, I don't know, people don't do that so much anymore, right? Uh, from what I've heard, that's slowed down. Maybe they'll start it back up once everybody's fucked off from you know yeah. this being hot, and then when it comes back up, they'll you know hide again. I, Which, think uh, I mean, it's logic. already died down as a topic. It's because uh, that seems to be the way that it goes. It comes back up, uh, and then it goes away for a few years, and then it comes back up. And every single time, every single time, it's getting worse. Thanks. <laughs> uh. whoever gifted me the membership, thank you very much. Hail the brood. Good stuff. How nice of them. If someone reacts to a channel video, they are technically promoting that YouTuber's channel. Um, I don't think anybody disagrees with that in a technicality uh, sense. Yeah, I guess the technicality is true. But, you know, it's like, a little bit further than that. Kind of like not a, not even that relevant. The funny part is, uh, uh, we didn't even need the hypothetical. It was proven with Jay Hassan yeah. almost. You, you, I don't even know that. Like you, you'd have to look at the first few seconds, and you might be able to get Jay's channel. Um. But thanks to the way Hassan did it, you could barely tell whose video it was or how to find them at all. Like, you couldn't even check out the title. He, he, he... Well, I mean, you know, he very quickly uh, switched it off as soon as Jay started promoting the channel. So, disgusting. <laughs> that was the so least. bullshit, man. That was yeah. bullshit. Uh, hi, Efap. Have you heard of Moon Channel on YouTube? It's run by a lawyer who has interesting videos on copyright laws in video game spaces. No, I've not heard of that at all. Sounds interesting, though. Hello to everyone, but Adam in particular. Oh, oh my, my god. He wouldn't appreciate that. He'd be very upset. Uh, two dull pain search for Screaming Frogs vids are fun. I think I've seen a few the Screaming Frogs vids before. Yes, to dull okay. pain. Yeah, to dull pain, yeah. Um, you know. We aren't talking about big companies, we're talking about influential streamers using someone else's content to make money with no effort put in. And hey, if, if the thing is, if you legalized it, big companies would be able to churn this shit out way faster and better and more efficiently than they can. Like, um, creating channels and automated content uh, curators. 
I just wonder about that on like a wider scale. If they caught on to this, they were like, oh, we're allowed to do this. Just find with an mm. algorithm all the most popular videos that get shared around and have a particular like set of statistics and then cycle them all into one channel um, with maybe even an AI host. Yeah, I was thinking AI host. That was where my mind was going to. You want you, you you pay like two people on a rotating sort of hosting thing of just or three or four whatever, and they just react as a twenty four hour stream. You would you 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 can't outcap YouTube's content if you started now. Just constantly no, reacting. Impossible. You just can't. Well, I mean, even if you started at the beginning, you couldn't do it. Yeah, there's so much being uploaded per like second. And then when you've got an algorithm just feeding in all of the most popular shit, like yeah, yeah. there you go. And then you have like someone on the back end who chops all of those up and uploads it to their own YouTube channel, or algorithmically the AI does it and stuff. Just like, Ugh, this is a gross future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent guests today. Hi, Dev. Love your vids. You'd appreciate that. It doesn't make good stuff. Have I seen this before? Is this a rerun? High rags. Definitely a deja yeah, vu sort of situation. And it will happen again. Um. So, there's a request for Fringy here. Not sure what this is clearly going to a meme, I'd imagine. Um... <laughs> okay, um... By combining the genes of Pika, Movie Bob, and Synthetic Man, you'll create a weapon of mass cringe-struction. I cannot allow it. It looks like mm. you're stopping someone from performing that experiment. Creating a weapon of cringe structure. A WM. What, uh, wait. A, a, oh, yeah, I guess it would be a WMC. A weapon of mass cringe structure. Mm hmm. Mass cringe structure. Mm. Uh, finish the chorus. Oh, this is a Rhapsody song, I think. For the king, for the land, for the mountains, for the green valleys where dragons fly. The glory, the power to win the Black Lord, I will search for the Emerald Sword. I, I, well, that could be one of many, actually. They repeat that a couple of times. But I think that's what you're talking about. That's um, it's from Emerald Sword. It's one of my favorite songs from them. Good stuff. I think that's from gay actor Michael Douglas as well. Oh, wow. So oh, that's neat. A that's shilling a one. I like that. for the reaction meter. Yes. Watch Kitty History by Trevor Moore to learn the truth about JFK for real. Watch Kitty History? JFK stuff? Okay. <laughs> no comment. Uh, the last one before JFK was in February 15th, 1933, when FDR had an attempt on his life as president-elect. The assassin failed, but he did end up killing the Chicago mayor. Hmm. Hmm. Is that history for you? I'd never heard of this XQC person before today's EFAB. Thanks, Mola, for showing me this person and seeing how low humanity and Twitch can get. Yeah, Twitch continuously yeah. disappoints me. It's, it's never gets. I never. There's never good news coming out of Twitch. Yeah, you never <laughs> go to Twitch to restore your faith in humanity. No. Um. Oh, is this my line? After what Fringy said, too late. I've become destroyer of brain cells and orphans, creator of the XQC. Wait, how, this is. Oh, I have to say, creator of the XQC. They've they've done this very strangely. And then Rags has got to say this, I guess. Crea yeah, so... All in... What? Okay. So just I to just do a clean that? version of my line, I have to say, too late, I have become destroyer of brain cells and orphans, creator of the XQC. And then I'll say, Mollenheimer, 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 Mollenheimer. <laughs> Is that like a chant? Or like a <laughs> well, maybe you're Mollenheimer, and I'm calling so. out to you. Mollenheimer! Mollenheimer! Summoning I, but I, or I'd call you Mo Molly? Call you Molly? Molly. Right, because I called him Opie? Call him Opie, so we, called, uh, we call you Molly. Hmm. Yeah. Um, hey Massives, I really enjoyed the Descent EFAP movie episode. I hope it sets a precedent in the sense that you guys will do more movies and TV with creators. If you could get Mike Flanagan on... No. <laughs> but... <laughs> If we could, sure, for an episode yes, of TV please. EFAP. Which episodes of his shows would you want to watch with him? I would choose episode uh, 6 storms. and 10 of Hill House, 5 and 7 of Midnight Mass, also High Rags, Play Little Nightmares. 
Oh, hello. Maybe he will in future. But yes, uh, it would be the Twin Storms episode, the 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 Hannah episode from Midnight Mass. I, Why Mana? Sorry, yeah, Blind Mana. Midnight Mass. Um, if I was to pick one episode from the show, five? episode five. Yeah, the one about Riley, right? Like the the yeah, major one for him. Right. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Uh, the 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 end. I would say of uh of that show being like absolutely amazing. And then Midnight Club, it would be when the 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 episode. I think it's episode six or seven. It's when one of them dies, and the whole episode's about her. Um, common theme for his good episodes of TV, apparently. <laughs> and he's got a show coming out very soon. All right. Uh, hey, Mass, who's been getting together the hardware, software I may use for video making, thanks to your recommendations. Is there any other useful software slash hardware that would be generally useful, such as video, audio, recording software, headphone recommendations, and what do you use for writing and organizing scripts? And what, if any, tips for script writing and redrafting? Sorry for many questions. Thanks, as always. Hi, Rags, Mubles, and Frong. Hello. Hey. Um, um, I use Microsoft Word a lot. As do I. Um, I yeah, use WPS. Okay. Um, I usually yeah, no, have word, many of them going at once for different right. notes, keeping things all up in the air at the same time, and then condensing it down into one script eventually. Uh, as for... I mean, I haven't got any headphone recommendations. I don't know if you guys have. Um, I use an AG1 uh, or ATH AG1X. It's a headset, but I like the quality of the headphones. Um... They're not too expensive, and I really like the way that they sound. That's what I use. So, there you go. AT1, or an ATH AG1X. Yeah, I don't know what mine's called. Um, I just say spend more than, like, you know, more than a hundred bucks, probably. I'd spend more than that, honestly, but, you know. I think the microphone is, if if you're going to kind of spend on a peripheral that needs to be really good, Yeah, I think a microphone is probably the yeah, way to go. At the start, you can just get a USB one, that's that's cool. And then the longer you do it, you might want to get an XLR. But like, you know, the AT2020 is pretty good. I think that's what all of us use, right? I use an AT2020 USB+. Plus. Right, I think so Mahler has used a different one now. Do you use a different one now? I use the Shure microphone that everyone has now. The, ah. the podcasting microphone for the high-end people, you know? All the cool people have this, like Ethan Klein and um, uh, others. Well, uh, I, don't, I don't have it, so... Damn. I'm not very cool then, am I? Maybe one day you'll be cool. Uh, I'll let you know. Maybe one day. One day. Uh, and then as for video and audio recording software, most of the stuff I record through is OBS. That's my useful little guy, but also Audacity is where I record voice, and I think Likewise. Rags, do you go directly into Vegas? Right into Vegas, yeah. I just record using Vegas, and I have a I have an audio uh, timeline, and that's an audio uh, audio track is what it is, and I just have one down at the bottom that I use for my recordings, and I just record straight into that. There you go. Imagine an EFAP where everyone is sat in the Discord call in silence watching a high-effort video, icons only lighting up for slight noises. Hi, Rags. Hello. Well, that would be the Twitch version, uh, I guess. Yeah, if we ever retire to Twitch, that's what we'll do. Hope you have Jedi Brooks on again soon. Well, we did. He was on the anniversary. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's right. None of us were ready for that XQC horrific stream. You must take full responsibility for that, Mola. Also, hot take, Dead Island Riptide is better than Left 4 Dead. That is a hot take. Um, I don't hear much of anyone ever talking about Dead Island Riptide. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. I got nothing to say on it. I haven't played it. Just I haven't played it either. Um, hi to A-Team and S-Class alike. Fair enough. Yeah, a lot of both. I'm I'm curious which of them has the most members at this point. I don't know if Alan, uh, uh, Stitch and Adam run a thing on that. A, a constant. And I, I wonder how many people switch teams semi regularly based on how good the Their hosts are doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a constant tug of war of membership. Is XQC the original idea for the King's speech? I feel like his speech is incom incomprehensible as his views. That'd be a fun movie. Jeffrey Rush trying be. to teach XQC to speak. 
<laughs> <I'll> speak. <laughs> uh, Pause Constantly should be the official EFAP mascot. Maybe a dog whose name is spelled Pause Constantly. <laughs> oh, that'd be cute. Only, yeah, that'd be a, yeah, every frame of pause. Yeah. Yo, EFAP, off topic. I just watched a two and a half hour critique of Organized Chaos, which reminded me of my similarly bad presentation voice. Any tips to improve that? That'd be a practice situation. Um, yeah, I think so. I don't know if I can give you any specific tips other than maybe just think about your voice as you're talking about it. A lot of the times people just talk and they don't think about how they sound because they're so used to it. But, you know, maybe when you're talking, think about how you might sound. Yeah. yeah. Uh, try and get tips and recommendations off other people, see where you can improve, try experimenting a little bit. What voice do you want to settle on? Uh, or what can you at least do to sort of alter the voice you have? It's 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 tough. Some people... There's very much a genetic lottery to um, voices to, to an extent. To some yep. extent. But there's some things you can do. Yeah. Some things can be done. So don't just give up. What makes Gay Rat? Paramount, apparently. Paramount made some gay rats? Gay rats? Alright. I don't know this reference. Neither do I. This one says stop pausing, and I assume it's referencing the people in XQC's chat saying stop pausing, because <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't make much sense for fads of us to say stop pausing. <laughs> I love that, uh, that juxtaposition is fabulous. A lot of people in the yeah, XQC chat getting mad, and then that being brought up as like defense of pausing less because people get mad about it. When you actually do the thing, it's not virtue signaling, it's just having principles and living by them. Yeah, so when, because XQC and Destiny would both say that uh, anyone who is like making this claim is virtue signaling, and it's weird because we're sitting here like, but you can, but I mean, we would... have a whole history of avoiding doing it ever. Like, I don't think you can but find also, a single EFAP episode where it would qualify that we've stolen work. Wouldn't you make the same argument about himself? Wasn't he often saying, like, his system is better for the world? So wouldn't that also be virtue signaling by that definition? Um, I think, I don't know if he would say that he just doesn't believe that anyone actually lives it. The, this particular principle, but we didn't definitely he, do. We yeah, we do. Make the yeah. case that the way that he did things was better, and he was like, there are statistics that prove that that's the case. Didn't he do that? XQC I'm, did, I'm, I think, yeah. But they that's didn't, what I'm saying. They didn't that's surface. what I'm getting at. Is, wouldn't that also be, by his definition, virtue signaling? Um, well, he said that he wouldn't be bringing out the stats unless someone else brought out the, sure, the lying is, stats. So it doesn't matter, right? So at the end of the day, if you're still making the argument that it makes the world a better place, just because you, I mean, you just, you could just make the counter forever, right? The only reason that it's being brought up, the conversation, is because you're doing the thing that people consider unethical. So. It's almost like just talking about virtue signaling isn't very useful. Are they doing it for clout for you? Right, okay. Bill, my dear. Pirate leads a slave raid to a world, grab up a ship full of people while fighting, but gets left behind. Now he has to hide and slowly... Oh, I'm looking for a part two That's... here. Slowly develop empathy for the kind of people he has spent a career as a slave of capturing and ruining their lives. He ends up joining a raid to free slaves. Okay. Do that if you want. I'm not sure how how far you'd get, or how many people would be okay with the film existing at this point. <laughs> it uh, depends, but um, sure. Chud, just don't take a piss, then it's fair use. Don't take the piss, not a piss. What am I supposed to do, piss? Bring you this only exposure if you give credit. That's not true, necessarily. I don't want to defend. Uh, these React streamers, but there are people who can benefit even when credit isn't given. Yeah, it, but again, it's it's such a small part of the conversation, really. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the like most concerning part for basically all of us. They'd be in so much less trouble if they just consistently credited the people who they stole videos from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Act a little... I don't know, have a little bit of, um, I guess, like... Uh, perspective might be the right word. Consider that this is what you do for a living, and it, you know, how incredible is it that this is a thing that you can do for a living? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm promoting your store when I steal your nuggets. Yeah, you'd be like, I love this food I got from this restaurant. I didn't pay, but hey, and they're, uh, 
I don't know. There's just there's a lot of comparisons where you just be like, well, you can't do that. And it's like, yeah. Brush a can on your heads for J. Owen, Peepo Smug. All right. I don't exactly know who that is, that? but best of luck to him. You're allowed to react to anything as long as you transform it. As Jay says, just don't take a piss. Don't take the piss. Not don't a take piss. the piss. How can people <laughs> yeah, not you, know you, what taking the piss is? is a you need to take a piss. <laughs> yeah, you do need that eventually, especially if you drink a lot of water like me. I take yeah. many a piss. Uh, if you do, then it's not stealing. Yeah. Very simple. Mutually, Alien Isolation Race, also Reservoir Dogs game. Yeah, I've, uh, I, I want to play the Reservoir Dogs game at some point, because I've always known about it, but as for uh, Alien Isolation Race, I don't, that game is long. It's a big old long-go game, and there would be no point in racing it if people aren't familiar with it, because then we'd just all be lost and confused. Um, watching to someone is a fascinating verb-proposition-subject combo. Maybe the first time anyone's ever combined them. Watching to someone. You mean like I am watching the video to the audience? The strange sentence. Exposure is not compensation without consent. Um, is compensation only Say possible that. with consent? I'd have to look at the definition. Yeah, could you say that? Can you say that one more time, just so I clear that I get it? Exposure is not compensation without consent. Um, I, th I know what they're trying to say, and that's probably generally going to be the case. Yeah, you can't just be like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." I mean, yeah, didn't you know I'm paying you exposure? That kind of thing, because that you know obviously doesn't work. But yeah, no. Good. E well, yeah. Um, I would just be curious if compensation has anything to do with consent, or if um, be compensated is dependent on anyone's agreements, or if it's just a matter of what is given in exchange or whatever. On the subject of ways to entertain your chat while you're away, VTuber Kirsch is currently doing a multi-day subathon where she lets her chat play Pokemon while she sleeps, like a Twitch Plays thing. That makes a lot of sense. That's a fun thing to do. Thoughts on... Very kind of her. Too, to let me play Pokemon while she sleeps. That's, thank you very much. Thoughts on Tool, if you've heard them. Might be up your alley, a neat prog rock band. If not, start with The Patient, Vicarious, Lateralis, Lateralis, or The Pot. Fanbase can be shit at times, but the music is good. A couple of my friends recommended Tool, but I haven't listened to them. I do not know Tool. I'm uh, not in the loop. I'm not in the Tool loop. Hmm? As painful as this is, thanks for covering the topic. No problem. Mm. Fighting the good fight. Someone oughta. The argument seems to be prove the item I shoplift in this hypothetical would be sold. Kind of. Oh, well, I mean, there was yeah, that I part think I right, with the, the none of the TikToks or whatever would get any viewership at all if not for oh. the person reacting to it. This person mm. was Which, I mean, never that... going to take off. Well, that's a great argument because it's unfalsifiable. <laughs> Is also just, it's just gross, because it's like, well, if they would never take off... Why are we basing off... the morality of it on how successful they may or may not have been in an alternate timeline where their content didn't get taken? Yeah, it suggests that, like, that means they didn't deserve any of what you got. Well, that they're more deserving of having their stuff taken. What if I, like... No, there's no point, we've been over it, like, a million times. <laughs> there, it's uh... just a shit argument, is what it is. There are actually many prominent li libertarians who would deny intellectual property being actual property because it isn't scarce, for example. Yeah, yeah but, but there's a lot of crazy libertarians, so... Yeah. Some of them take it a bit... They, they take it a bit far. You can have my wood gives piece of hardwood. Oh, right. thanks. You can do a lot with some hardwood. Hi, Rags. Hello. I'm moving to be with my wife soon, since she's in the Navy. Also, have Platoon on more. He's the best guest since Fringy became a host. Yeah, Platoon is high. He's, he's a high tier. He's a high tier friend of the channel. Yeah, we give him plenty of um, hello there's, because he's, he's, he's a neat old Mr. Fish and Chips sort of guy, you know? And, and, and uh, yep. he's got a, got a definitive slot for covering Rings of Power, right? When that comes around. Absolutely. 
Uh, did Hassan just say that studios somehow sometimes pay streamers to react? Is he just guessing? That seems like a big deal. Um, I mean, I mean, he, I could imagine that those sorts of deals do happen. Like, I could believe it. Yeah, it's fair for him I to bring up. He's talking about sponsorships or trying but, I mean, to. But he's talking about a. But, he's, but of course, the issue is that he's talking about a prearranged consensual yeah, exactly. agreement between two parties where they were like. Well, he's bringing it up to say. Changed. The, there are people out there who would pay for us to do what we're doing, and you're saying these people aren't benefiting. And it's like, well, yeah, but there are also people who would stop you from doing what you're doing. That doesn't mean, yeah. like, well, this as is their right. That's the thing. Right, that's, as is their right to do. It's not even about rights. I mean, like, they would stop you because you're, like, it's it's a situation that is not beneficial to them, but it is beneficial to you. Like, they're, they're, they're like, fuck you, stop, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, exactly. Meanwhile, there are people who pay to make that situation happen because it is beneficial to them and you at the same time. Oh, that's great. And it's like, yeah, well, this does, you know, it's a lot more complicated than uh, people have paid for this to happen before. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Muller, I'm currently watching Buffy purely on your recommendation. When does this start getting good? These early episodes are pretty rough. Hi, Rags. Hello. Yeah. It's yeah. here for a while. Um, season three, where I would argue it starts to get consistently good. Um, but still, there's still rockiness. I once made a belt out of watches. It was a waste of time. Ha ha! I like it. Very nice. I... I like that joke. Good on you. I've never paid for not safe for work content. Why would I? I feel like that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Talking about for, something like that. Hey, I'll have paid for... Oh, they probably can't say porn. I don't know. Why not? Probably because the chat, the YouTube chat bot might. Oh, uh, but couldn't you do porn with like a zero or whatever? We'll say prawn. You could, you could, but I guess he just chose not safe for work. So. Yeah, I suppose that's even broader than porn, right? Yes, that includes it a is lot, correct. a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, this not necessarily got anything to do with the, the argument with about the React streamers stealing shit. Um, man carrying thing video on React content is funny. That ended up at the end of our uh, compilation, actually. We checked that out. The funny lad. And this just says, for shirt off. Right? Hmm. Uh, Mutaha coming in MVP with that quote tweet. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth on Twitter with all this. And it will come up again. It's sunk now. It's gone. But it'll come up again someday. Okay, listen, I watch X, not gonna lie, but can't you argue that he brings a popularity to the original videos? I know that I've seen videos because of him. Yeah? What about crediting them? What about supporting them? What about not just taking their video and re-uploading it with the same thumbnails and titles? Which was, by the way, the fucking death of his whole that was position. The, uh, yeah, that was <laughs> not good. That was such a moment of, like, if you thought... His position was genuine. You don't anymore. Mm. Uh, it's really hard after that one. And it's like, yeah, okay, fine, 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 fine. But statistically, they still overall benefit on average overall or something like that. I just feel like, man. It's like saying sometimes, I mean, I guess if I steal, some good things can come from me stealing things. Uh, there's, there's a better world, an easier world that's like this that you could tear up into ethical. Or he could, like, do above and beyond. And we're just asking to tear right up into ethical. It's just crossing a line right into there. Um, but I will say, part of his problem is his audience. They all discourage him from saying anything. Mm -hmm. um, excessive cockiness of XQC really destroys any good faith that can be allotted. Should have Aiden Paladin on to explain this socially and fall asleep. I think um, he is probably one of the worst representatives of the position he was trying to give. It probably should have been Destiny talking to Ethan, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, Would have been he, more interesting. Yeah, heck, you see his That's <laughs> just not... He wasn't ready for it. Nope. Um, I exclusively use old Arby and the Chief episodes for my BRB screens when I'm just too lazy to react to a video. My viewers love it, Keck. Um, as long as he's okay with that. I doubt I mean, it. I mean, if it's a still, about that? but if you're just playing episodes of it, I don't know about that, but... Yeah, I mean, this that's what this person's saying. They're just saying that they'd play Arby and the Chief episodes when they're gone. Um, 
Okay. John is I, okay I, with that, then okay. Why would you assume that? <laughs> like, I don't know. That's just, yeah. I don't know why that would be... Why would that be presented as like, ah, see, that's the better way of doing it. It's the same thing. Yeah. Unless the keck means it's a meme or something. No, I think they're just they're just admitting something that they even realize is kind of unethical. But fuck it, it works. Oh, I, uh, why why can't we just do BRB screens? Why is that? Because then the people get bored. Yeah. Okay. We'll let them get bored. They then. might go somewhere else. Yeah. We'll let them. No. Oh. And they can't madness. wait a couple of minutes to watch you. <laughs> like I don't know. <sighs> Ugh. We must be better than this. All right. As an old, I am continually confused by much of what apparently goes on on Twitch. Put this toward a fresh bottle of Bailey's, Mola. You've earned it. Oh, thank you. What if there was a watch together alternative that all the viewers can log into and watch with XQC and all those views get added to the original video? I think that would be way better and cooler. If there, we could cycle them all in like that. But then uh, all those like engagement pieces go directly to the videos, I actually think the React streamers would be annoyed by that. Probably. It, it like, stimulates the original instead of their own. Like, hmm. Mm, yeah. Uh, Thou shalt not steal Bible Baggins. Good quote from Bible, Bible Baggins. Baggins. I like old ba Bible Baggins. <laughs> He's got some weird stuff in there, but there's some good stuff, too. If only metal new Jews would be a topic today. If That's only, all. if only... Uh, XQC vocabulary is ticklish. It makes me laugh. Yeah, I can see how it makes someone laugh. That makes sense. Um, hello, guys. What is your favorite kind of juice? Also, rags, please spit in my eyeballs. I will not spit in your eyeballs. Sorry, even if it's consensual. Um, um I like apple juice a lot. Bunch. Neat. Prefer like, it to orange uh... juice. Black currant and apple juice. I'm a like big fan. Currant. I like... Now, coffee bean juice can be okay if you do enough stuff to it. But by itself, I think my top favorite juices would be good orange juice, the real shit, or pomegranate juice. That stuff's good. Yummy. Hi, Massives. Just finished Squid Game Episode 6 with my dad, and it was great rat. Really happy it holds up so well. Now we got a fat man shout, come on, 69, and it's bigger. Howdy, Rags. Hello. Yeah, there's a bit of a drop in quality in that season when you go from Episode 6 is tight as hell, and it's so bloody profound in terms of what it's saying about all this different human nature and conflict mm. and stuff. And then you get the really bad, like, American accent people in the next episode. <laughs> that's really, yeah, that's, ooh, yeah. boy, that was, uh, oh. oh well. I, I remember, wasn't there conversations about, like, people were like, oh, unfortunately, I guess they couldn't hire the right people. And I think the actors were like, hey, like, we, I, I can't remember if they were originally Americans or not, but, like, everyone's assumption is that they weren't. It was like, why do you sound so strange? <laughs> well, as far as I know, I thought they said that that is what they actually wanted it to sound like. I think that the was directors, it, yeah, something I like that. I think they they wanted it to sound like that, which is a fucking bizarre thing to say because that's such a these are clearly you know, not brought in, speakers. you know, foreign actors for a scene that's pretty brief where they just have to exposit certain things, and then the actors like, "Are you sure you want me to say it like this?" And I can't imagine you you you'd be like, "Yes, just like this," instead of like, "What do you mean? Do you mean?" And they're like, "Well, it would sound more natural where I'm from to just say it like this," and it's basically the same. I can't yeah, imagine why you would actor, never just vote for that. Yeah. If the English-speaking actor that you hired says, hey, just so that you know, all of us sound like space aliens <laughs> yeah. trying to imitate what humans actually sound like, and if you put this out, everyone's going to think this is fucking weird. Uh, well, so I remember I that know. there's uh, three British characters in Buffy, and only one of them is actually British, and apparently he gave loads of tips to the other two about how to talk, and it's great, because I was fully convinced the other two were British, but... Uh, big portion of my life before I realized they weren't. Which is, uh, good stuff. And so, yeah, I don't know, it just feels weird that you wouldn't take take the tips. But I guess, hey, mm -hmm. autistic vision, yeah. No, I want you to sound... Maybe he said something <laughs> like, I want you to sound out of touch. I want you to sound weird. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, Congratulations. Maybe. You succeeded. <laughs> well, you, got you it. succeeded. Um... 
Appreciate the amazing content and thank you for inspiring me to work on my own story. Draft is on 50k words already, so wish me luck. Hi, Rags. Hello, and uh, good luck. Best of luck. The big boy. Yeah, good luck. Good luck on your thing. Boy, howdy. Can't wait to see what the Man of Steel is up to on the re-upload. Re what the Man of Steel is up to on the re-upload? Well, Man oh. of Steel, right? <laughs> well, this is the new Man of Steel. Um, right. Also, congrats on the upcoming 250. We are soon officially 25% towards the return of Wolf. One can hope. She is massives. 25% meaning... Oh, like episode 1000, I guess. Um... A team reigns supreme. Also, hi Mark. <gasps> oh, hi Mark. This one just says pain. <laughs> that could reference a lot of things. Yeah. The son would tell on himself. Would realizing it, without realizing it. I think they mean. I think that's very possible. It's possible. Yeah. Wings quote of the day. Here's my leg, slaps leg. I store all my fat here, slaps gut. So my leg is just straight muscle. For context, they were talking about only use me blades, leg health. Gonna lose it. Oh, yeah, because everyone's fat in different ways. Like, and you, mm, you can be a really, really fat heavy. person with very, like, slender, normal looking legs. That, that is possible. Yeah. yeah. Um,. Hassan talking like he's on trial must be stressed. Oh, he's been doing a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> uniquely spineless, that man. Yeah. Get Ethan on, tear them apart. <laughs> you guys just like, get this person on. It's like, yeah, sure, okay. We're jumping to the DMs. Do it. For what I've learned throughout the last year, it changes twofold. That delivery and speech patterns is focused on saying less with more words, and that morals and principles are malleable when it concerns outcome and target. Um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you know, the morals and principles being malleable, that's just... That's just a forever thing for everybody, depending on what pressures there are. Yeah, never, no. All kinds of things that happen all the time. It just... Hope we can maintain the freedom of speech to argue the positions and maybe change binds. That's that's the best you can hope for. Um, he's breaking pretty bad for molding Kappa. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. He's breaking pretty bad for molding. I feel like we got three memes in there at once. So I'm trying to decipher. Breaking pretty mm. bad. He's high because Heisenberg's. Bald? Hmm. Uh, I would relate this problem closer to embezzlement before grape. Embezzlers start small and then slowly begin to take more and more. Same with these React streamers doing less effort under the fair use. Then one day you wake up and you're only added 15 minutes of commentary to a 98 minute video or you put a 15 minute video in while you were AFK. I wouldn't compare it to rape. That's uh, a mistake. I would say it's going to... Not only do I not think it's valid, it's also like confusing everybody and then everyone gets off put on the conversation, so. Um, embezzlement though, maybe. Um, can you Dumbo's react harder to DDLC? Well, we'd have to play mm. it first. Yeah, I don't know about that, maybe. Maybe. Hey Mola, there are free movies on YouTube such as Zulu and Patton. Is it legal slash moral to react to them in their entirety since it's freely available on their official YouTube license? Well, I need to know those more specifics on that. How does that work? There's just they're just not running copyright on those. Uh, sure. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't it know. might only be know. it might only be that YouTube has purchased the rights to display that on YouTube, but that I doesn't mean like anyone could just take it and do whatever they want with it. A good example of what you would have gotten in a world where there's no copyright and we made EFAP movies is um, Dead Space 1991. That's what they would look like where they're still edited to the point where it's mostly all of the stuff that we're doing. Some stuff from the movie, of course. But, like, the, the movie itself is barely comprehensible with uh, what we've done to it in the edit and how much we're talking over it and what jokes we're making and different edits that are happening to it, you know? But, like, there's no copyright screen so as to prevent as much of the original source coming in and, and generating a fair use thing. Which is interesting, as a comparison, the Saw arc, which is recently, the trailer came out, or, well, it's probably not recently when this comes out, but hey, <laughs> the, uh, it could be weeks, I don't know, one week, two weeks, whatever, but in any case, 
that one was a nightmare, and you'll find that out when watching them, because the copyright is very, very obsessive. Arguably constant. And so, uh, what I guess I'm saying is, like, there's different requirements uh, here and there and stuff, but, like, what you saw in the Dead Space 1991, that's probably as far as we believe needs to go for us to consider it, uh, you know, it, it fairly transformed. Would it make it in port, though? Who knows? That's uh, another thing. Everyone has a different line for what would be fair transformation, as has been said before in, like, a joking way, like, oh, do I need to add another minute and then it'll be fair? It's like, I don't know, maybe. I mean, maybe, yeah. Maybe. It's like saying, oh, I've added another drop of water to this pond. Is it a lake now? Ooh. Yeah, it's like, just be fair, that's all. Don't, don't know, take a piss. Don't take a piss, Mahler. Yeah, that's true. Just hold it in forever and explode. Uh, hey, Fab Crew, I want to extend my gratitude Hello. toward all of you. My daughter was in the PICU for 46 days. Your podcast helped me keep my mind occupied. Hardest part of my life so far. She was chose... She was close to not leaving alive. Oh, gosh. I assume that means the prenatal intensive care unit? Uh, could be, yeah. I'm not 100% uh, sure, but... PICU. Uh, judging from what uh, they said, though, she's she's made it. Hopefully she's alright, and... Very glad that we could provide any kind oh, of solace in a situation like that. Yeah, pediatric intensive care unit. Yeah, I can imagine that would be fucking horrific to have a kid in there and not being yeah. able to do anything, you know? But we're very happy that she's all right. Or, uh, you know, so. and we were able to, you know, help out with that. So, it's, uh, um, you know, you're here. Hang in there, man. I don't have anything to say. I just wanted to use my free milestone chat. Also, hi, Rags. Hello, and thank you very much. If you think of something to say, then go ahead and toss us a super chat later. Ask um, us which Mega Man character we think looks coolest. Yeah. I love how he says everyone is hyper-obsessed with money while he has a tweet saying his content prints paper. Good job, XQC, lol. They're never consistent. The money thing is always... I don't well, know, remember he said I, I wear your whole house on my wrist or something like that, right? Yep. Uh, also, I... Sorry, I don't know which one this was connected to, but it said, uh, Sincerely an Austrian painter. Why? <laughs> oh, I don't know many Austrian painters. I just no, know... No, neither I do just, I. I just know one, but I'm sure there's many others. They're not as famous, but I'm sure there's many. XQC sounds like Snyder's Lex Luthor. Hi, Rags. Hello. I could understand Jesse Eisenberg way better than XQC. Absolutely. You just sliding Jolly Ranchers into people's mouths. What did Snyder mean by this? I like you guys a lot, but to be honest, if you ever bring someone with XQC's accent on, I'm not watching. I realize why the people of Hartlepool thought a monkey was a Frenchman. For fuck's sake, at least Hassan can speak words, however rarely he exercises that ability. I don't know if calling XQC's voice an accent is being... Yeah, Fair. I don't know that it's an accent. I don't he doesn't think have an accent. A... He has a disability. In each of the places that us three are from, there are there are people you can barely understand, all the way up to people you can yeah. easily understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not an accent. I, yeah, just... like I don't I don't know why it's like oh XQC is like French Canadian. I don't know, man. I've heard French Canadians before. They don't sound like that. It's it's not like a unique feature of the French Canadian accent to speak that fast. <laughs> Yeah, and just, you're choosing to la yeah, because you can change the speed at which you speak. That's a thing you can do. That's true. You could just talk slower. It it's possible. It can be done. The idea is like, no, I can't because of my accent. It's like I don't think yeah, that's how no, that works. That. You can control that. You literally could just not. You could just not. Uh, didn't we see this coming? Isn't XQC the one who broadcasted the Olympics? Didn't Hassan talk about how bad that was and the precedent it could make? Did Hassan talk about that? Ooh. I don't remember. But yeah, that is he something did. that XQC did. did try, the Olympics thing. Well, mm -hmm. Um, my brain melts from watching Hassan and XQC simultaneously. Have major content creators like them always been this out of touch with common sense? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's like a club, and that's what you have to do to get in. You just have to be an insufferable jerk. He's a fool. Out of touch. This one says, Hi, Adam. Ooh. Well, you would say hi. Adam, getting the good shit. Another one says, Hi, Lucy. 
Oh, wow. Um, hi, go, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Then this one says, hi, Adam and Lucy. Who is Adam and Lu who, who is Lucy? I don't know. I, I know the Adam one. Not familiar with the Lucy one. Famous Hassan quote. Pay the artist. Dude, paid an exposure. Yeah, it's a great cutoff. <laughs> 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 Do the Mola Therapist you? Fund. Thank you. Agree or disagree? Time travel is impossible. No, it's like, not impossible. I, I, I have I no idea. I don't know enough about the science or what would qualify as time traveling. Or what yeah, wouldn't. Don't know. I don't think that traveling... Yeah, I, there's way to... Yeah, it's, it's floopy. But I think, like, technically it's possible, theoretically. But I don't think of it's plausible or anything like it is in the movies. It's just like the weird interstellar kind of shit. Hmm. Um, I've been loving Buffy until I hit the middle of season four. It feels kind of boring and less funny. Convince me to keep going somehow. The, yeah, keep going. Well, the way I would con it depends on what it would. I don't know what to, what it would take to convince you necessarily. But one of the greatest episodes of TV, one of the greatest pieces of art ever made, is in season five. So mm -hmm. go get it. Yeah, four is a bit uh, of you know it's not as good as season three. I'd describe uh, it, it as rocky. Up. Yeah, and they had problems uh, behind the scenes with season four, several. And the thing about it is, though, I still think season four of Buffy is a hell of a lot better than a lot of TV shows. Like, um, it's still more coherent, still has more to say, and I still like a lot of what happens with a lot of the characters and stuff. The plots mm -hmm. get a little bit wonky. The overall arc gets a bit wonky, and the villain's not very strong, but. I don't know. That's not the worst thing to happen. I still find it entertaining. And there's still really good episodes in there. Like, um, Wild at Heart, Something Blue, Hush. And that's considered, like, one of the greatest episodes across the whole series, so. Mm. The gang's favorite Futurama moment. Hard choice for me, but I always love the first episode when Bender puts both arms back on and Fry says, I don't know how you just did that. As he watched it happen. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. That's a good joke, yeah. And what, a, what an interesting thing that this question was asked before, well before, the video came out, so... That's right, because I have not watched much of Futurama, but even without having seen that episode, I might say that that episode's my favorite. It was getting me all teary-eyed, man. Uh, it's been my favorite for a long time, and um, it's the... It's, it's just thinking about everything Fry does for her is, is the big deal for me, and the whole, like... It got through, and that they hug at the end. That's one of my favorite moments. But obviously, the everything in Jurassic Park is pretty top tier as well. Yeah, Jurassic Park's ending might be <laughs> that might be it. Um, I don't know if we need to list all the other potentials, but I assume those would be in Friggy's picks. So <laughs> yeah. there you go. Uh, we are not random. We are the Toxic Brood. <gasps> oh. Gasp. Stop using the word massive in vain. Against the religiousness of it all. Gaming industry was fine before Twitch. I'd argue Twitch is a harm to the gaming industry. Hmm. What do you guys think? Um, I disagree. I have no idea. I'd probably <laughs> I, go with whatever stats we can find, I guess. I think Twitch and the ability to watch streamers and game streaming and all of that has created at least for gaming, a very positive sort of culture surrounding the hobby that has allowed it in its own way to thrive. I mean, that's um, got to be undeniable. And then it's got to have given a spotlight and more coverage and more acceptance in general in a social and cultural way. So it's like more people are aware of it. It seems to me like a positive. Because gaming's had to fucking claw its way to be respected, even yeah. though it's dominating, which is really weird. Yep. That's how it goes, though. That's how it goes. Is it ableist to laugh at XQC? He obviously has mental problems. It's um, always... It, sure, but you know what? That's fine. It's like being fat phobic. <laughs> Fucking just go for it. If XQC isn't careful about calling people bald, he's gonna get eaten by the she-bears. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I know go that story. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Alicia and the she-bears. Yeah. It's a good story. It's a good story. I learned a lot from that story. It's very meaningful. Mm-hmm. Shiba dog shaking his body from left to right, surrounded by red hearts. Oh, that's a nice emote. Oh, that's a great one. I really like that one. Good stuff. High tier. Nothing stokes the fires of Marxism in me quite like watching Twitch streamers clout shame. 
fires of Marxism. <laughs> the fires of Marxism. Chiba dog squeezing a big red heart emoji. Aww. Such nice and friendly and wholesome emojis. Thoughts on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Never got to catch the playthrough. Um, you can find it on the... If you look at playlists on my channel, you'll find the gaming one. Cycle back enough, you'll find it. I thought it was crap. I think they rushed it out. They hadn't finished it. It was clearly broken in loads of different places and empty, which is a huge shame. Um, I assume it's to do with mistakes that happened at some point. Bite enough more you can chew, that sort of thing. Uh... And I remember I broke it a couple of times. I got locked into a mission. I had to restart the whole game. There's, there's so many oh, problems. The, it's a fucking Lego one. game. And it was having that kind of... You guys have played the Lego games at some point, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah the old ones. Yeah, they're all pretty damn tight. You know? They work. <laughs> they don't... You know, it's fucking Lego. You would have thought like, they, they'd fuck <laughs> it up. But uh, playing this game was immensely disappointing. And not fun. So um, I don't know if they fixed it by now. Maybe they have. Rags and Platoon of my e-girls. Ooh, nice. Good choices. Good choices. Uh, but is it a good rat cage? A good rat cage. A good rat cage. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Hassan needs a chair as his co-host. Hassan Knightley. All right. Okay. Well, it's just him sitting opposite a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I forgive you for reacting to the big to the big Les show. Forgive us for reacting to it? What do you mean? Did we react to the big Les show? I don't feel I don't like we did. So. I don't think so. Yeah. Here's how I see the world. Mine, 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 mine. Bimbo Baxquidius. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, SCP-2718 is death itself. Scary stuff. Oh, wait, what's the number of that one? 2718. Death itself. 2718. Let's take a look here. Um, it's rated very highly. I am going to uh, leave that as an open tab and check it out. And please, dear God, if you recommend me to read uh, SCPs, keep them short and have a quality level. When they're good, they're fucking good. But when they're a chore, sometimes they're just boring. Fair enough. So I'll, I'll keep that open and take a look. The one that was recommended uh, earlier... So the picture-based ones that I showed you guys, I really love that one. I thought that was super cool. Very clever. Oh. Uh, hey, guys. Terrific episode. Morley, well, you might consider to hit up Count Dankula's Discord for a dank bot to replace your bad voice bot. Dank bot it is. Bad voice dank bot? bot? I don't know what any of these bots do. I'm so unfamiliar with Discord while simultaneously using it constantly. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> a lot of things that happen on Discord that I don't understand. A good uh, metric for transformation would be when the experience of watching one thing is fundamentally different than watching the other. Think watching a movie normally with director's commentary on. I don't think that's sufficiently transforming a movie, though, if you just released it yourself with your own commentary running. No, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, it's a really complicated thing, what I consider to be fully, fairly transformative. But uh, I'm sure everyone has lines that are different. And if we had a world with no copyright protection, no intellectual property, it would be strange and interesting to see what would end up happening. Um, the social aspect of chat adds exponential value is a cult line. Never trust someone who tries to gamify and commodify basic human interaction. It's treating emotes and parasocial uh, like Bitcoin. Well, he he's under the impression that he's like a pioneer and that this is the definitive future we are going to be at a point which by the yeah. way there's probably a black mirror episode like this where you, you you know you normal events or whatever like there's just an option to turn on chat or something i think that that should be something in some sci-fi where you're in the cinema and uh once 51 percent plus vote for it or whatever a chat window comes up on the side of the, of the movie mm, that, that would be that nice and dystopian like <laughs> thing to think about uh, EFAB is just a show to me. The comments are a fun forum, but if they got shut down, I'd just go to the Discord. Comments aren't IP any more than audience in the theater coughing are IP. <laughs> you own those coughs. <laughs> Hi, EFAB gang. Just got off work. Gonna enjoy this. I oh, hope you do. Yeah. I hope you do, too. And I hope you like it so much, you give us money. Uh, bring Theo to watch Ahsoka. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, 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 we would no. never do that. We no, would never be... subject a person that we love to such horrors. <laughs> I mean, he'd love it. He's our Clone Wars expert because he thinks that show is really good. Yeah. I wish good I had stuff. a fraction of a quarter of a half of the math XQC has. Also, high rags. Hello. Uh, the main takeaway from all of this is Wales is the Dark Souls of Rhodes. Yes. I have heard that from a couple of people who visited Wales. Apparently, uh, well, Britain in general, a lot of people struggle with our roll roads compared to other places. Are they uh, narrow or? Yeah, typically. Uh, uh, fair. Yeah. You finally found someone more insufferable than Movie Bob. I can't stand this XQC person, and really hope he's not brought up in future EFAPs. Yeah, you'd probably be okay. I think. <laughs> I don't see why he should come up again, unless it's this topic. But you know, give it a year, I guess. Oh, this one says, "Stay, Adam." This is, this is when Adam was leaving. Oh, yeah. This one says, keep talking, Adam. Adam, don't you leave, you bald mold. <laughs> Defining I'll get him to say. transformative is too broad by nature, more useful to focus on. Here's what it definitively shouldn't be, outlining most common scenarios. Like I said, it still wouldn't change what they want to do. And they slip into it anyway. If they had limitations that they agreed to, they would still eventually break them and be like, oh, it's not a big deal, calm down. And the final message of the episode is somehow Jinx returned. <gasps> it's true. Somehow he did. We all just let it happen. Oh well, really all of us. But you know what I, I mean. Stay vigilant, or else the Jinxes will come back. Well, thank you so much for all of your kind messages. Sorry we took a little bit to get to them. We're just getting to them all, and uh, we eventually, of course, do. So appreciate it, kind and wholesome, and uh, we shall see you all in the next EFAP-related thing, whatever it may end up being. Indeed. Absolutely. Thanks for the super chats, everybody. I do appreciate them, and uh, some good questions and stuff in there, too. I always like answering those. Yeah. So, you see, see y'all later. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye, bye. Until we meet again. See you.